Welcome to Family Awareness Talk Show. In this episode, we'll be talking about foods, what we should eat and what we shouldn't eat. We'll have Dr. George Jackson with us on Zoom from California, Lumanda University. And we'll have dietitian Ms. Ola Mugarbel from Lebanon inside the studio. Hello, Professor George Jackson from Loma Linda University. We welcome you on Family Awareness Talk Show. Our episode today is about the food we eat and living a healthy life. Since you have been concerned about your personal diet for a long time, and you have also been a vegetarian, how much has this impacted your health positively? Yes, I am a vegetarian. I have a, a plant-based diet that comes to my mind is uh, my heart. It was a physical problem with my heart valve and I had to have heart surgery. Well, before my heart surgery, they did an angiogram completely clear. I had no uh, heart disease. I had no atherosclerosis, no hardening of the arteries. Uh, so it was a very successful operation. And uh, because of my lifestyle and my diet, uh, even though I had a damaged heart that was a physical problem, I was able to have a successful surgery because uh, of uh, my clear blood vessels. What are the kinds of foods you think they are healthy for children and why? Right. So, you know, one thing, you know, living in Lebanon, and I love Lebanon, I miss Lebanon, uh, one thing I do notice in the stores, there's a lot of packaged food, potato chips, uh, sweet, uh, packaged sweets and candies, a lot of foods that are high in fat, high in salt, uh, high in sugar, and a lot of people drink sugar sweetened drinks. Uh, and all those things are really bad for a young person's health, anybody's health. You're much better eating the traditional Lebanese diet where uh, lots of fruits and vegetables and the grains and the nuts, uh, food more in their natural state, not so processed that you see in packaged food. Go for the natural, pro hummus is a wonderful food. Um, but the packaged food that is high in, what they, what they say, um, high calorie, low nutrient foods, these packaged foods, and they're not good for our health. Dr. George, some people drink coffee because they think coffee helps them be awakened and comfortable for a longer time. How much do you think coffee would affect people who consumed it on the daily basis? Yeah, coffee is, is, is a problem because uh, yes, it, may, it will make you feel alert, it will make you feel awake, but your body eventually pays for that later. Uh, it's, it's an addictive substance, it, it's a stimulant, uh, there's nothing really good in coffee very much, uh, so you're better off to stay away, you're better off to have better sleeping habits rather than using a substance like coffee to keep you awake. Now, I know that's hard in Lebanon, because uh, I could hear the apartments at night. People are awake in Lebanon at night. That's part of the lifestyle. But if you're a student, maybe you're a medical student. Uh, my daughter was a medical student. She went to bed early all the time and got up. You can do it. It's, it's, you've got to change your cycle. You're much better to do that than to rely on an addictive substance like caffeine. It's, it's not a healthy drink. Professor George, vegetarians don't eat red meat. What are the substitutes in case people don't eat red meat and at the same time they want to benefit from the same protein that's found in red meat? Right, yeah, that's, that, that's a really good question. And there's been a lot of research going down right here at the University, Loma Linda University here in California where I am now, they've done many years of study. Basically, the more towards plant-based diet, the better. And the further along you are on that continuum towards a plant-based diet, the better. There, there, we don't need to eat meat, uh, things, especially in the Lebanese diet, with the lentils and the hummus and the beans. Uh, all these plant-based uh, proteins uh, are fine. We don't need, 
Uh, the, the bad thing, yes, you do get protein from meat products, but the real issue is you're getting saturated fats. And that's what's causing things like heart disease. I myself don't eat red meat, but instead I have to take pills that contain vitamin B12. But what is your advice to the viewers who want to substitute meat by other foods that contains B12? Yes. You know, it's probably the one thing that is more difficult to get in a vegetarian diet is B12. Uh, maybe vitamin, well, vitamin D is another issue from, from everyone because uh, that's another supplement that's being shown to be really necessary, especially in the Middle East, people are low in vitamin D. But yes, um, it is a good idea to take B12 supplements. If you don't have access to supplements, something like an egg or some dairy products every now and then will provide you with B12. Eggs would be particularly high in B12. So, uh, you know, I haven't had some B12 supplements for a while, but uh, you do store quite a lot. So you do want to, B12 is something to watch. And that's probably really the only issue with a vegetarian diet. What do you advise people who try to bribe their children with a piece of chocolate and that is in order for the children to obey their parents or do their homework? Yeah, that's, that's probably developing uh, not good habits because students don't want to necessarily um, associate success with eating sweets. And I know that could happen. Uh, yeah, you're dealing with kind of a cultural issue there. Chocolate is uh, high in fat, high in sugar, and it also has caffeine in it. So those are things that young people don't need. Um, so I would advise that to try to find some other positive reinforcement rather than food and sweetened food. Uh, go for a walk with your child or sit down and play a game with them or do something that's a positive interaction rather than relying on something unhealthy. Find a, a better alternative. There's always something better you can choose. We all know that fruits are healthy for each one of us, while some people don't like to eat them. How can we tell people how much fruits are healthy for our bodies? Yes. Find a fruit that's in season. You know, when the mangoes are coming into the country, we were just eating mangoes. They were wonderful. But, you know, the apples from the mountains of Lebanon uh, are beautiful. The strawberries that's in season, you know, the pineapples were expensive from Africa. There was no, you don't need to buy pineapples. Buy some local peaches and nectarines and apricots from Lebanon. The good thing about fruits is they have lots of fiber. Yes, they have sugar in them, but that sugar is locked up in the fiber in a more natural state. So it's just a matter of education. The more fruit you eat, it's good for your digester in terms of preventing diabetes. Uh, it's a much better choice than sweet and packaged foods. And it's just a matter of education and stepping out and trying something new that maybe you're not used to. Dr. George, I hope you can give us an advice about a healthy diet that families should follow in order to grow healthy. Okay, um, AUB has put out a very nice document. I could send you the link. Abanese, the traditional Mediterranean diet is very healthy. It's these Western influences of fast foods and packaged foods that are bad for health. So when you think about your diet, think of it as a, a, as a cedar tree. And uh, this is what this AUB document does. So, at, and half of those cereals and grains should be whole grain, not processed. So at the bottom of your cedar tree, you have, you want the majority of your diet needs to be cereals and whole grains. Moving up, as we move up the tree, you want fruits and vegetables with nuts and seeds. That's your, not as much, but you're moving up the tree. As you move further up, then you will want uh, some more of your proteins. If you're, if you're choosing to eat meats, uh, eat lean meats, cut the fats off the meat, try to not uh, limit your saturated fats. Alternatively, there's legumes, there's beans, there's chickpeas, there's hummus, 
uh, there's uh, preferably unsalted nuts that can also provide your protein. Further up that tree, you may have, um, if you have dairy products, choose low fat options. I know a lot of people enjoy their Lebna. Uh, try to choose low fat options. Uh, and that's where you could also perhaps have egg if you're uh, in your protein or if you choose meats, uh, smaller amounts of lean meats. At the very top of your cedar tree are going to be your fats and your sugars. Only small amounts. You know, the chocolate you're giving to the kids, okay, well, that should be at the top of the tree. That should be only a little bit of your diet. Not too much fat and not too much salt and sugar. Sweetened drinks are another big problem. People drink too much of, you know, the Pepsis and the sweetened drinks. Those are really very unhealthy drinks. Dr. George, I have read that sugar in soft drinks lower the immunity system, especially the white sugar. How much do you think this is true? Yeah, you know, they're finding more and more things, studies with sugar sweetened drinks, like the, what they call soft drinks or carbonated drinks. And I don't know if they know all the reasons yet, but the, the bad, they're so bad for your health. Somehow the combination of the sugar and these carbonated drinks, some of them like Pepsi's have caffeine as well. They're just really very unhealthy and people drink it a lot. Uh, and you're better off to drink water, lots of pure water. And it's readily available in Lebanon and it's cheap. Dr. George, one last advice for the viewers of Family Awareness Talk Show. The advice I would give is for people to go back to their traditional Mediterranean Lebanese diet. It really is a very good diet. Lots of fruits and vegetables, lots of grains, lots of natural uh, cereals. Uh, you've got the best olive oil in the world. Use it in moderation, not too much, but health, olive oil is a healthy fat. And the more you can move towards a plant-based diet, research is showing the better you are. Now, you may not have a completely plant-based diet. Make good choices. If you're going to eat meat, cut the fat off it, of the chicken and the meat. Limit your intake. Switch to plant-based products wherever you can. Dr. George Jackson, thank you for being with us and showing us with many good information about what we should eat. Welcome. Ms. Hala, dietitian. Ms. Hala, you have been working in this field for uh, a while now. And you know, in Lebanon, we have uh, uh, cuisine that is healthy. So if I want to go vegetarian or if anyone wants, wants to be a vegetarian, it's very easy for them. So uh, what would you advise people to feed their children who are going to school to improve their uh, way of thinking and to be fit and healthy. Good morning, and uh, um, I have uh, to uh, introduce, uh, first of all, uh, my major, it's nutrition, and I, uh, I have uh, my own clinic. Uh, first of all, uh, it's very important to focus on uh, the children's uh, health and the children's uh, lifestyle. Um, in my uh, clinic, I don't give uh, 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 children a diet, uh, strict diet. So I focus on mindful eating or something like uh, lifestyle, more like lifestyle. Mm -hmm. uh, if uh, we focus also on the uh, pressure and uh, the fa fast food diet, it's, uh, it's a global now. And all children like to eat uh, fast food because they are more uh, pleasure and uh, they, they choose this because it is easy to eat it. Yeah, you know, uh, kids like to eat the chocolate and like yeah. to eat uh, foods like uh, we, say, we say junk food. That yeah. When we say junk, junk food, that food. means it's not healthy. So uh, what is uh, the healthy diet would you suggest to children, for example? Would you advise them to eat meat or eat vegetables or eat fruits most of the times? Uh, we have to focus on overall eating. So for example, would you for categorize example, them for us? Yes. I prepared for you uh, today uh, seven uh, points we have to talk about it. Uh, we have to focus on overall diet for children and not to be strict on her diet, on their diet. 
uh, for example, not uh, to be uh, strict, in, um, for example, no, no uh, we say uh, don't eat chocolate and chips and uh, it's unhealthy food and no f fast food. No, we can give him uh, uh, little choices. For example, uh, once a week to eat uh, chocolate and chips. And uh, uh, if you want, uh, also we have to be a role model. We cannot say to children, don't eat that and don't eat that and we gorge on a potato chips, <laughs> for example. Yeah, for yeah. example, yes. Yeah. And uh, we have to add vegetables and uh, fruits uh, on our uh, meal for children. Uh, for example, a uh, burger or uh, something like this, we can add vegetables to this uh, type of foods. We can, for example, do uh, a meal at home, uh, like um, a hamburger or escalope or anything like this that the children like to eat. We can make it at home by an easy way and uh, uh, to, uh, to cook with uh, uh, lighter lighter or uh, if we if you want to, to say uh, more uh, more healthy food mm -hmm. like for example uh, we have to use a special oil in order to fry the Not french fries yeah, french or fries for example we have a substitution for french fries yes. we can uh, go for baked uh, baked uh, potato for example or yeah, but kids oven. but kids like french fries they are born to, to love french fries yeah <laughs> Yeah, but no, no. Uh, uh, children are not uh, born uh, craving pizza and french fries. We are uh, responsible for what they eat. Um, if you put your children to eat every day uh, french fries, pizza and like something like this, they will be addicted on this food. Yeah, so okay, so some people, some kids uh, become addicted on chocolate. Yeah. What happens that parents will tell them if you do this, I will give you chocolate. How much is this good or it is wrong? It's very wrong. It's so wrong to tell the, to, to a children, if you do that, I will give, I will give, I will give you a chocolate. Uh, it, it will uh, uh, do a relationship with, with the food and the, uh, the uh, rewards. Mm -hmm. we, we can, for example, uh, substitute this by, I will take you to uh, do a bicycle or to go shopping or to do something else and not eat the chocolate because chocolate is so something good but uh, uh, to the children it will appear it be, it be something right to okay you know dr george jackson said that eating meat is unhealthy and he advised us to substitute red meat with egg uh, how much do you think this would be applicable in the Lebanese daily lives? Uh, children needs a protein, so we can substitute meat, meat by egg. It's more important for children mm -hmm. because meat can uh, cause uh, cancer, for example, because they inc uh, include uh, nitrate. Uh, wow. Mainly, yeah, the, the sausage, if you want, uh, like uh, makanet we yes. say in Lebanon, yes. yeah, it's contain a very huge number of nitrate that uh, cause wow. cancer, yeah. Any so it's of, important any to... Hot dogs. Hmm? Any type of hot dogs contains nitrate. Yeah, hot dogs and uh, processed meat, all mm. this type of food are unhealthy for children. And we have to take into consideration what to give to our children. Um, the uh, recent study showed that uh, uh, children or he who eats healthy food have a high score in IQ test. Wow. Yeah, it's important okay. to show and to focus uh, on this uh, study and on this uh, uh, issue. You know, as we were talking with uh, Dr. George Jackson about sugar, sugar uh, lowers immunity and it takes it to zero sometimes. Yeah. So uh, what is a substitute of sweets? So he suggested that fruit is good for, for our bodies and for our brains. How much uh, do you think uh, we can push uh, our children to eat fruits? It's very important to push our children to eat fruits because fruits is contain fibers and vitamins and sugar, but the sugar, the good sugar for our, yeah, for example, for our health. Uh, how would you illustrate the good sugar from the bad sugar? Yeah. Because many we people don't understand that it's bad sugar and this is a good sugar. We have uh, two types of sugar. We have the simple sugar and we have the complex one, or we, we say the uh, complex carb. Uh, 
the uh, simple sugar, like for example, the sugar we added to the soda. Uh, the American Association, uh, the American Heart Association, say that uh, we have no, uh, we have to take to give for the, th the children only uh, three grams of uh, three, three grams of uh, sorry, three teaspoon of uh, of sugar per day, twelve gram per day. But uh, if you imagine like a, a can of uh, Pepsi or 7-Up, it contains a huge number of sugar. And sugar will be a fluctuation, do a fluctuation in their moods and their energy. So that uh, make, ha make the children to uh, low uh, immunity and, lo and high risk of, for diseases. Yeah, okay, I want to ask you a very important question because you know, we live in Lebanon and people, all people love Manaish. How, yeah. m how Manaish would become bad for all children if they eat it uh, at school? When we eat manaish, manaish contains the simple sugar, and simple sugar can be go uh, directly to the blood and uh, uh, put the children on a high risk to be uh, for diabetes, okay, the to have diabetes, uh, mm -hmm. diabetes problem, yeah. And um, uh, recently, uh, we, 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 we show that uh, uh, many of children have uh, type, diabetes type uh, type uh, two, sorry, type two uh, at an early an early age. Oh, wow. wow. Okay. What uh, I want to tell you about obesity is it obesity is caused by food or by uh, by what? Okay. About obesi obesity, um, Damon. Uh, always I say that uh, uh, pregnant woman or the woman, the mom of, her, of the children is responsible for the obesity of children. For how come? Yeah, before pregnant, before being pro pregnant, the mother should take into consideration about their healthy body. Mm -hmm. If she eats and she, take, uh, care about, she takes care about her body, her body so uh, she can get uh, a, a decision for her baby. Mm -hmm. For example, here in Lebanon, we say for a pregnant woman, when she is pregnant, uh, uh, eat something like uh, you, you have to, 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 uh, two person to have, you have to eat. <laughs> yeah, for two persons. For two persons, How, how, yeah. how uh, much is it strong? It's, it's never strong. It's, uh, it's uh, so wrong to say that for a pregnant woman. Pregnant women sh should take into consideration the first three months shouldn't be uh, gaining weight at all. The uh, first, uh, second to three master should start to uh, gain So it weight. is wrong to double the, uh, the menu yeah. for her. Yeah, yeah. So what is, what is your advice to the people who are trying to go for a diet and they are struggling with it? Uh, people should uh, uh, program what they eat and focus on what I eat. Each meal I eat, I have to, s to show if it's possible to eat it or not. Uh, they contain fibers, ask yourself. Is they contain fibers, contain minerals, contain uh, something uh, important for our, for our health or not. Okay, tell me your last advice to the Lebanese people who uh, want to get uh, rid of uh, bad food and want to go, uh, sorry, for junk food, and want to go for a healthy food. Okay, the last advice for the people to go on a healthy diet that uh, focus on what you eat and drink more little, more uh, water and uh, substitute unhealthy food by the healthy food. For example, French fries by uh, baked potato, ice cream by the yogurt and by fruits and uh, sorbet and uh, fruit smoothie if you want and uh, to uh, focus also on uh, what we eat on our daily day, on our daily uh, menu. Uh, focus on breakfast, don't skip great breakfast because studies show that uh, uh, people who skip breakfast are at hi higher risk to be uh, obese. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. And uh, skip people, negative people, if you want, when <laughs> you start the diet. And uh, one advice, uh, uh, don't uh, don't uh, measure your weight every day. Skip the scale and focus on the mindful eating. So it's good to uh, stick to the company who eat uh, who eats uh, healthy food. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Miss Ola Daytish Nala Mugarbel. Thank you so much for the good information you have uh, given uh, given to our viewers. 
Thank you so much. I wish you a good day.